This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today I want to talk about the cyber attack supposedly on the Colonial Pipeline. Now, we've we in the last couple of years we have gotten away from manual labor, manual production, manual filing. I mean, you used to go to DMV and they would pull a file on you. Now it's all computer. If the power was out or if the store if it, the local power went out. You could still go to the store and pay cash. Now none of that is happening. There is no more people turning valves to turn things on and turn things off. It is all done electronically, all with computers. And if the Colonial Pipeline can be hacked, supposedly as hard as it was supposed to be or something, I mean, they've been talking for years. The EMP Commission talked about the threat of an EMP or our power grid going down. Our grid is so old, so bad, so... I forget the word. But anyway, it's... They've worried about cyber attacks. They've worried about small EMPs. You can have a, a thing in a suitcase and create an EMP at a local electric place, electric supply, or whatever you call it. Today we want to talk about something that I didn't know much about before I started researching for this, and now I want to know a lot about it because it's an important topic. Electromagnetic, electromagnetic pulse, uh, EMP, which can be caused either by nature or by man, poses an existential threat to our electronic civilization. A nationwide blackout lasting one year could kill millions, up to 90% of the American people, through starvation, disease, and societal change. Moreover, EMP, as it's called, is the ultimate cyber weapon, weapon in the military doctrines and plans of Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, an electromagnetic pulse or an EMP is, uh, in terms of the physics, is basically a distortion in space-time. You know, which is basically what a radio wave is. Uh, you know, except an EMP is very much like a radio wave, uh, except that it's got so much energy in it. It's like a, think of it as a super energetic wa radio wave with so much energy that it will actually destroy electronics, and it can destroy electronics across the vast region. In the case of the natural EMP threat from the sun, it can cause electric grids and, uh, and electrical uh, critical infrastructures to collapse all over the world. You know, the EMP would be so vast that it would affect the entire planet. A nuclear weapon, you know, detonated above the United States, so high up in outer space that you wouldn't even hear the blast or the explosion. There'd be no other effects, no radioactive fallout, no radiation reaching the surface of the Earth, just the EMP. But that EMP would be enough to destroy electronic systems across an entire continent, in, uh, across all 48 contiguous United States, uh, most of Canada and a good chunk of Mexico with a single weapon. And then there are non-nuclear EMP weapons, you know, that are, can be actually purchased uh, almost by anyone. And you don't even need a license per to per uh, purchase some sort of non-nuclear EMP devices that can be used as weapons. And we have developed, and other countries all over the world have developed non-nuclear EMP weapons. They're, the radius of effect is not so great, but if you had a team of terrorists or special forces guys uh, carrying uh, nine or ten of these things to critical points of the North American grid, again, you could collapse the whole electrical grid without a nuclear EMP weapon, just using these non-nuclear well, EMP well, devices. Well, well, the, the Colonial Pipeline paid the ransom. I think that's a problem. I mean, that's going to be passed on to the consumer. So, as of today, I don't know if it was today's article or yesterday's news article, but they said that there's around 10,000 gas stations still out of gas because of that shutdown. But they say now there's another problem with their shipping uh, computer software and they're having problems with that. But they're still producing gas and oil, but it can't get anywhere or distribution wise. So there's still 10,000 gas stations without gas. Now the next thing, if it was so easy to do that and the Colonial Pipeline, they paid the ransom, which we're going to end up paying for. 
at least us on the East Coast. It's so much easier for one of these dark side or whatever they're called, these cyber terrorists or whatever, for them to go after our electric grid. I don't know how it hasn't gone first. I don't know how that hasn't gone yet. I always thought the electric grid would go, we would be without power, but my only problem with that scenario was the 5G they're rolling out. They need the 5G con to control everything in this smart grid, internet of things or something. They need the 5G, so I thought there was going to be an EMP attack, but that would fry everything. And our government's not going to be putting millions and billions of dollars into this 5G and have it be fried. So, what's going to happen, in my opinion? It's going to be hacked. There's going to be some kind of cyber security thing and the power grid's going to go down here and there. Maybe not everywhere at the same time. But it could. You have somewhere on the East Coast or West Coast, somewhere in between. It might not, doesn't have to be a, a dirty bomb. It doesn't have to be a, you know, high range or low range altitude EMP blast. All it's got to be is turn the hell off. And they can say whatever they want to say. Whoever's to blame. It could be Russia. It could be the, the dark side, the dark force or whatever. It could be... You know, it could be Darth Vader for all I care. So be prepared. I think the electric grid is going to go down soon. Just my opinion. No fear porn here. I have no proof or anything of this. And just my opinion. They're going to turn the power off to get more control. More of us going crazy. More people with the... Anyway, I'm not even going to go there. But... Helicopters for the, the forest fire still going. Uh, in my opinion, I think the power grid is going to be going down soon. Very soon. They need to stop people from communicating. The prepper community, the awoke or awake people. The mask wearers, the non-mask wearers, the jab people, the non-jab people. Uh, Pro-Biden, pro-Trump, the supporters, the BLM, all this stuff is coming to a head. And they're already shutting certain comments off on people's YouTube videos and Facebook. And if you're not going along with the agenda, you can't have your own opinion. You need to comply with what they're saying or we're not going to allow your comment. So the more of this news coming out, more people talking about what's going on, they're going to stop it. They're going to shut the power off. Oops, we got hacked. There could be a little bit on the East Coast, a little bit on the West Coast. It doesn't have to be at the same time. But if it's out long enough, people are going to go looting, rioting, burning. And that's what they want. So, this is Pony Prepper Bill. This is my thoughts of what's going to happen next. I don't know when. I don't know how soon. Maybe never. But be prepared. Stock up on gas if you can. I mean, don't hoard it. Don't, don't blow yourself up. Don't be putting gas in plastic bags. I can't believe some of these people. Anyway, just get some gas. Be prepared. Uh, make sure you have some kind of emergency backup for water. And uh, we'll see what happens. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.